Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Akila James, all the returning, what's up, and all the newbies, what's up? <laughs> Today I will be talking to you about the tournament in Barajos, Spain. I was pretty high in the tournament. I was the seventh seed, so I decided to get my butt and come all the way to Spain. So I had a good time. I had a, I don't know if you looked at my other video, but I missed my flight. So instead of having like two to three days to prepare for this tournament, I only had one day. So I got in to Barajos. I think it's called Barajos, but bear with me because I'm not Spanish. The day I arrived in Barajos, I had to drive another hour and 20 minutes to the tennis courts to practice. But the tournament schedule and the times were all over the place because they were only playing early in the morning, so from 9 to 12, and then break from like 12 to four. So it was all over the place. Four to eight was basically matches. So you couldn't play until like eight. Right now, the time is 9.16. So the sun literally is still up. It's still bright outside. It doesn't go down until like 10 p.m. I got there. I was able to practice at 4 p.m. for half an hour. So I was happy about that. I was very grateful, but I was really tired because my flight was very long, maybe 12 hours or so. I was very tired when I got there and played. So I played. I practice by the time you're finished here in this specific city you're going to be tied and it's gonna be really late so we didn't eat dinner until like about after 10 p.m. can't go on TikTok <laughs> but at that point you can't really do anything your focus is to really recover so that you're able to play and perform for your match the next day so the next following day I played on Tuesday so I asked the tournament can you please push back my match so I wanted to be able to play my singles like third round fourth round and then my doubles probably like last round or the round before that so I was able to get everything the way I wanted and I was very grateful for that there were only three courts though at this specific tournament there's only three courts and the surface is carpet here and you had to warm up between 7 a.m. till 9 so 7 to 9 if you wanted to warm up on the carpet courts you had to get there for 7 a.m. I mean we're like three to five minutes away from the facility but still like you have to wake up early remember you're going to bed very late that was uh, messy right I didn't play till 1 p.m. or so I didn't play till 1 p.m. which was loony but you know that's how it is you just gotta wait and see because you don't know what kind of matches are coming before you I practiced I warmed up I came back to the hotel took a shower went to breakfast ate really quickly and then came back to my room rested again because I was really tired from the night before and then got ready for my match so I get ready for my match and I'm playing did really well praise God I was able to pull it out and win my match I was very very grateful came back to the hotel ate lunch because there was no lunch at the facility then I had to go back to the facility and play doubles and guess what guys I won the doubles very 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 excited about that and I was very happy I was able to turn it around right however I was extremely tired my body is so tired but I have to go 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 just recovery recovery means everything you want to do the necessary things so that you're able to you know make sure you're in the best shape possible I didn't finish my match till probably like 11 I think something like that something ridiculous 10 or 11 had to go get food because we can't go home there's no going back to the hotel go get food then go to the hotel, wind down, do my stretches, do everything I need to do, write in my journal. Everything that I usually do, I'm going to do it because I can't shorten it. And so go to sleep. I went to bed really late. On Tuesday, I woke up again. I had to wake up early, get to the courts. I get to the courts. I play second match. I got to the court at 8 so I can warm up. They're like, no, you got to warm up at 8.30. Okay, no problem. I warm up at 8.30. Everything is good. I played my match. I played a really good girl. I played, I didn't play bad, but I definitely could have played a little bit better. I felt like I, I wasn't feeling the strokes as well as I usually do in the beginning of the set, but then I was able to get work my way back in it. So I'm grateful. I'm happy. I'm working towards my goals. So everything is coming together. So I'm happy about that. Then we played doubles and we lost. I lost in the singles and the doubles the second day. So I lost second round in the singles. I lost second round in singles and I lost 
quarterfinals in the doubles which is an okay result it's not the best result but it's an okay result so I'm grateful that I'm able to build on every match that I played I haven't been able to play so many matches this year because obviously COVID and everything is so sporadic so I'm happy I was able to deal with the situation at hand so I am definitely grateful I wish I was going to Finland right after because there's another 15k in Finland but I can't go because I was under the impression certain things had to be in place and I didn't have those certain things. So they changed a the rule and then it was too late. So I'm going back home, going to like practice for a week I think and then go to a tournament. I'm really excited and I'm really impressed with myself. Being at these tournaments shows you mentally where you need to be. This was the first time I ever played on carpet. I'm going to show you how the carpet looks. It is definitely sand. Is sandy and you basically slide so I would recommend if I had to do this again I would definitely wear clay cord shoes for carpet I thought it was definitely interesting the ball bounced very very funny it was strange it was a little strange it was a little strange but again I'm grateful that I was able to play so I was going to figure out a way to get those matches in get these wins in. so I enjoyed that and I thought it was a good experience this is a good first experience on the carpet so I'm grateful I'm always grateful guys it's really pretty it's a pretty place Spain is pretty so it's definitely nice looking I feel really good about my progression I recommend that people come to Spain to play especially during COVID because you just need the QR code which is a form that you have to fill out to let them know that you have not been in contact with anyone that has COVID, your whatever flight you expect to be on, your time, your where you're flying from. I guess they'll do their own investigation, but you have to have this form. You don't really even need the COVID test. They never ask you for the COVID test. I personally took the COVID test to make sure I was safe and secure. And I obviously take the necessary precautions because you always, always, always should just take care of yourself. So they, but they didn't ask you for a COVID test. So all you really need to fill out is the QR code and that was it. So I definitely rec I would probably come back here again for the, like in the year because it's very easy. It's very simple with that. And I'm feeling great. I'm not sick. What I took away from the whole tournament was it was very short. I wish there were two weeks here, but what you gonna do? I can't control that. Learning how to adjust quickly. I think if you're looking for a reason why you should travel, if you haven't traveled in a long time, or you wanna play tournaments and you only have a certain amount of money, or whatever your situation is, I would recommend you do it because for one, you gotta bank on yourself. You gotta bank on yourself, you gotta believe in you. Nobody's gonna believe in you like you. So go out there and do it. And I would say definitely enjoy the process, enjoy the wins, enjoy the losses, and learn from whatever it is that you have done at that place. Because every tournament is not the same, but it's definitely similar. So if you're struggling with high balls here, it might be the place, yeah, but it also might just be you're struggling with high balls. So you can go and practice that and you'll know. So I would definitely recommend people to go out there, play these tournaments, play as much matches as you can. Get it done, get it done. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I took the chance to come here because it wasn't necessarily super, super cheap. It was cheaper than other places, but not super super cheap so if I didn't come I wouldn't be able to add towards my ranking you know what I mean so I'm definitely happy I took the chance and did that so this is just a snippet of this specific tournament in Barrio Spain it was a good tournament it was nicely ran I enjoyed it simple smooth and easy it was simple smooth and easy so that was really nice I'm happy I came I suggest you come you will learn a lot and be happy guys thank you so much for watching my channel you already know i appreciate you guys if there is any questions that you would like me to answer please 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 comment in the comment section don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button guys and press that notification bell press it peace